Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. We're on December 17th, 2020. And welcome to another surviving day on the planet and welcome to a world update, looking at space weather, world weather, and of course, earthquakes, volcanoes. Looking here, Lasco 2 showing a large outgoing CME. Thank God it was not earth facing. We do have some earth facing sunspots to talk about. And just to the right there is the region where it popped off. And just yesterday, we did have a small CME erect from the sun. Here's the last 48 hours outgoing images. Or sorry, that was, here is the incoming images. Three not really organized sunspots, definitely keeping an eye on it watching lots of plasma filaments erect from backside of the sun. Lots of activity happening backside and as well southern regions. Some amazing images coming out of Solar Dynamics Observatory. I thank all of the producers as well researchers. Looking here, 511 angstroms, you can really see the plasma loops and the Corona Spear being affected. I want to thank all of my new friends and family from around the world. We are over almost actually 14,000 people in 179 countries worldwide. I thank you all so much for joining the family, staying aware and prepared. We are observing here as well a Corona Hole building in the northern region. Looking here at our real-time solar wind, as we are really low at about 277. And it's been fluctuating, not really high at all, around 280, 270. Just recently, in the last few hours, we're seeing an increase in the density bunches. As well, the phi angle flipped there for a little while. So we are expecting some something, some space weather heading our way. Looking here at our Schumann residence for today, a power of 20, highly energetic today. A power of six. And actually, no, they're saying here a power of 16, six hertz. Let's have a look at earthquakes as there has been rumbling and a lot of minor quakes all across the Northwestern plate through Utah, as well California, even last night and today through Texas, 3.1 and as well a 3.4 in Midland. The geysers and as well northward into Utah and Idaho. Still watching an earthquake swarm through Nevada. And now Hawaii is seeing a small earthquake swarm all around the Kilauea caldera. For more detailed earthquake map, please come check out the live stream. I'm trying to stay on 24 seven for you all. And right now I just do not have the time. So I do it as much as I can. Having a look here at over Aleutian Islands and into Alaska, minor earthquakes. The uptick continues. Watch for that to really increase over the next few days. I'll get to that in a moment. Large systems affecting them. Uh, minor earthquakes in Japan, 4.6, 4.1. As well, another 4.6 moving south Japan islands. And the Philippines is shaking today as well. 
two 4.9s and a 5.1 through Indonesia. 5.2 recorded today, Papua New Guinea. And as well, this 4.6 in Fiji, deepest earthquake last 24 hours, 575 kilometer depth across the African and into Eurasian plate. 4.4 Greece, 4.8 Greece. South America, yesterday that large 5.6, which moved mountains. If you haven't seen the video yet, please go check out this link. Some crazy stuff happening around the world. Thoughts and prayers to everybody. South America, all of this seismicity happening. 4.9 there in Colombia. And as well, small earthquake swarm throughout Puerto Rico today. Seeing multiple threes and greater. Having a look here at the last seven days for earthquakes, seeing a lot of deep movement. West, southwest, ring of fire. And into Indonesia and the Philippines plate. And seismicity is increasing across the Aleutian Islands and into Alaska. Large low pressure system will be affecting them there as well later in the week. Lots of activity through South America, deep earthquakes, and all of this shallow activity across North America, quiet across the Eurasian plate, and the rest of the world. But our ring of fire is on fire, for say, right now. It's just going crazy. So thoughts and prayers going out to everybody being affected by earthquakes, volcanoes from around the world. Villa Rica has awakened. Fuego in Guatemala, Era in Japan, Swiss and Ojima in Japan, Sabancaya in Peru, Popo in Mexico, Sangay in Ecuador, Reventador, Ecuador, Epico in Russia. So that's about 12 volcanoes getting updated in the last 24 hours that are active and erupting. Now I will be doing a volcanic activity report, not sure if I'll be doing it tonight or tomorrow, but Please stay tuned. As well, we have quite a winter storm moving through the northeastern United States. We'll get into that in the five day forecast as well. But looking here, Quebec already seeing extreme cold warnings and as well some strange extreme cold warnings through higher elevations in Mexico. That's right. Extreme cold warnings, higher elevations in Mexico, as well extreme cold warning in Guatemala. But we're global warming. Isn't this the freaking equator? Just saying. And then across the Pacific Ocean here, we do have tropical cyclone Yasa, who just ripped across Fiji. Luckily, it was a fast moving storm. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody who was affected by that cyclone as it was a category five. It ramped up to overnight, overlooking Australia. Storms to be moving in. This was just updated, but I've been talking about it for the last two days. Very large low pressure system getting ready to move in to Australia. Heavy rains across Indonesia. Let's get to the five day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteor Mike. Starting out here overlooking home base Calgary, Alberta. As we're seeing quite a roller coaster of temps again, Chinooks moving in. These low pressure systems are hitting the coast and moving north. To Alaska, we're going north. But yeah, look at this. Four degrees, five degrees in the next couple days. But then right back to the cold temperatures, this high pressure ridge will be coming back. So bundle up and be ready because we're going to get a snowstorm with it. But most of these cold temperatures for the week are going to stay north of us. But look at these cold temps. Minus 45 without the wind chill in some regions here parts of Northwest Territories and Yukon. So watching across the West, watch for the rain train to continue. Not much sun for you guys at all, but tons of rain and snow north into Alaska. But you see these? That's right. This is five day forecast. You do have some really cold temperatures moving into BC. You will see below freezing temps. And here's the culprit right here. We do have this massive 
low pressure system that keeps forming off the Alaskan coastline. Now it is one dense, deep, lower level low that just keeps spinning. It's not able to penetrate and go through the Alaskan Peninsula and it's gathering more low pressure systems, getting bigger along the way. It's crazy, but it is happening. And the same thing is happening in the Atlantic Ocean. Speaking of the Atlantic, we do have storms moving through central United States and up into the northeastern later in the week. Overlooking Europe, here's that other low pressure system. It is, and it's the same size as the one in the Pacific. These things are getting bigger, more organized, stronger velocity. Just look at these temperatures across Russia, which I've been talking about. Siberian polar vortex has been coming and it's getting stronger now with some areas seeing minus 49, minus 50 degrees in parts of Russia and Siberia. Just, I can't get over the size of that low pressure system in the West Pacific. Speaking West Pacific, Southwest Pacific here, moving into Thailand, do have a tropical storm moving into parts of Taiwan and Thailand, moving westward into the Indies, not much to talk about, dry conditions prevailing, and then across South Africa, watch for this low pressure system to affect you guys, and you will see some extreme weather, watch for extreme downpours, torrential downpours, and uh, lightning, massive amounts of lightning, so please, we're seeing the increased cosmic charged particles. We're seeing these massive tropical cyclones head straight across the continent here in Australia in the five day forecast. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected. You're gonna see flash flooding conditions across Australia over the next little while as they've been inundated by these tropical systems coming from the north and it will continue as things have shifted drastically overlooking Australia or South America daily evaporation rains to continue heavier towards southern Brazil and the Chile Argentina border watch for extreme weather to move in later in the week and head eastward to the ocean and leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern as well pointing out these massive systems that will be affecting the Alaskan Peninsula in the coming days. Stay aware and prepared, stay warm and have fun, and get your morning due. Bye-bye. And don't forget to check out dailyeventsworldwide.com where you can get all the latest news and events and share your photos and videos. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.